this video, we're going to take a look at hierarchies in Power BI. So we have this table that has calendar year and order quantity broken down. A very common scenario for a hierarchy might be a breakdown by year. So let's say you want to go from year to month to date all the way down and have it understand the different levels. Now we could very easily just drag over calendar year, month name and date, and we would be able to, to drop down into it. But a lot of times what happens is you have a scenario like that, that you're going to reuse over and over again. So you don't want to have to constantly be dragging it over and maybe you want to sort it a certain way. That's where hierarchies come into play. Let's create a hierarchy based on date and it's super easy. We'll start with calendar year at the top and let's put month name, you just drag it on top of it. And it creates a new option here called calendar year hierarchy. And we can rename this if we want. And we'll just, we'll call this date hierarchy, calendar year, count month name, and let's add date as well. So let's drag this over. And here we can see calendar year, month, month name, and date all in a row, just as we want it. Let's get rid of date. That's a little too specific for right now. Now, the first thing we notice here is the ordering. It's actually in alphabetical order. And the reason is because this month name column is set in that order. And we can change that for that column by going to model and sort by column. So the first thing, let's actually remove this from that hierarchy. Go to month name, and now this becomes active sort by column by default is the name. So that's alphabetical order. But what we want is actually another column. You can pick any other column in the model, but we know that we have one called month number of the year. And just to show you what that looks like, you can see it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that is reflective of the month name. Each has its own column but we want that in the hierarchy to be in that order. And really anytime we use this column, we want it in that order. So let's go to sort by column and instead switch this to month number of year. So that means anytime we use this column, it's going to be in order of month number in the year, January, February, March, April, May. Great, so let's add this back to the hierarchy. Put it above calendar date because this is the order we want. And now we can see these are in order. I'm gonna flip this. Now we can see this is in order from January, February, March, and it's broken down for us. Now, if we go and flip this to a matrix, this also becomes nice because in a matrix, you have the ability to actually drill down. So if we go to the next level, this is already in place. We want to add this level of the hierarchy into our visual. We can drill down to that as well. If we go this option, it will display it one level down nested. If you enable this, it turns this into a clicking motion where you can drill down into it. Otherwise it'll just highlight it with this selected. It'll drill down. So dates are obviously a really common example of a hierarchy. Another one might be with your products. You know, let's say we know that the order here would go category and then model. You just drag it up. It creates this hierarchy model name Add this subcategory in here. So we have category, subcategory, model name, color, you know, whatever you want. You can add those in there. You know, at that point, all it takes is one click and everything is in there in exactly the right order in terms of hierarchy that you want. Yeah, we could call this product hierarchy. Now let's say we want to add this, the actual product name to it. Maybe this goes at the top. So that's how you would use this here. It's pretty simple and something that you'd likely use many times in a lot of different ways on your dashboards, especially as your models become a little bit more complicated and have a lot more columns involved. So as always, thank you for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Thank you.